wish I could tell you about the South Pacific, the way it actually was, the endless ocean, the infinite specks of coral we called islands, the coconut palms nodding gracefully toward the ocean, the infinite beauty of the inner lagoons and the moon rising behind the volcanoes. This is where we begin our story. This is a South Pacific island paradise during World War II. Here we see two half Polynesian children named Jerome and Agana playing and singing happily. And we meet Ensign Nellie Forbush, a U.S. Navy nurse from Little Rock, Arkansas. She's fallen madly in love with a handsome and dashing French plantation owner by the name of Emile de Beck. And while everyone around her is nervous about the outcome of the war, Nellie assures Emile that everything is gonna turn out just fine. When the sky is a bright canary yellow, I forget every cloud I've ever seen. So they call me a cockeyed optimist, immature and incurably green. I have heard people rant and rave and bellow that we're done and we might as well be dead. But I'm all reciprocates those feelings. Emile finally shares his affection for her. He reminisces about the first time they met at the Officers Club dance, when they were instantly attracted to each other. Some enchanted evening, you may see a stranger. See a stranger across a crowded room, and somehow you'll know, you'll know even then, and somewhere you'll see her.
that she will think about their relationship and she returns to her work at the hospital. After she departs, Emil calls Jerome and Nagana to him and we realize that they are in fact his children from a previous marriage. Meanwhile, the restless American Seabees are also looking for love on the island. They are lamenting the absence of available women. You see, Navy nurses are commissioned officers and they are strictly off limits to these enlisted men. We got sunlight on the sand, we got moonlight on the sea. We got mangoes and bananas you can pick right off a tree. We got volleyball and ping pong and a lot of dandy games. But ain't we got, we ain't got days. We get packages from home, we get movies, we get shows. We get speeches from our skipper and advice from Tokyo Rose. We get letters doused with perfume, we get dizzy from the smell. But don't we get? You know damn well We got nothing to pull on a clean white suit for What we need is what there ain't no substitute for There is nothing like a day to the American sailors, however. She is a sassy, middle-aged, Tonkinese vendor of grass skirts, nicknamed Bloody Mary. She frequently engages the sailors in sarcastic and flirtatious banter as she attempts to sell her wares. It is here we meet U.S. Marine Lieutenant Joe Cable, a new arrival to the island, and he has been sent to take part in a dangerous spy mission, one that could turn the tide of the war against Japan. Bloody Mary takes an immediate interest in Lieutenant Cable and tries to convince him to visit the mysterious island of Valley High, telling him that wondrous things await him there. Most to 
with his commanding officer, and they intend to approach Emil de Bac and ask him to aid them in the mission because it is to take place on an island where he once lived. However, they have also heard rumors that Emil is a fugitive from justice, and so they approach Nelly and ask her if she can find out more about why it was Emil left France. Well, in the meantime, Nelly realizes that perhaps she has gotten foolishly too close to a man she knows very little about. And she, was, she tells the other nurses she has a plan to forget about Emile de Beck for good. second thoughts, Emile asks her to marry him, but she hesitates, wanting to know more about this man. And when he speaks of freedom and the love of his homeland, she recognizes the nobility in Emile, and she can no longer deny her love for him. The naval officers ask Emile to take part in the spy mission. He refuses, however, because he's hoping to build a new life with Nelly. With the mission stalled, Lieutenant Cable goes on leave. He travels to Valley High, where Bloody Mary introduces him to her beautiful daughter, Liat. The two are instantly attracted to each other, and Bloody Mary hopes that a marriage to an American officer will ensure a better life for her daughter. Leon and Cable do indeed fall in love, but Lieutenant Cable is all too aware of his well-established family's deep prejudices, and they know that they would never accept his marriage to an Asian girl. So he tells Bloody Mary that despite he loves her daughter deeply, he cannot marry her. At the same time, Emile finally introduces Nelly to Jerome and Nagana. Although she is charmed by the children, she is shocked at the revelation that he is the children's father. He shares with her the story of his first wife, a Polynesian woman who has since passed away. Although she is deeply in love with Emile, Nelly cannot overcome the prejudice that she has towards his biracial children, and tearfully she departs. Sadly, he reflects on what might have been.
dejected and feeling that he has nothing to lose, Emil joins the dangerous spy mission. He and Lieutenant Cable send back reports on the movements of Japanese ships, allowing American aircraft to intercept and destroy the enemy fleet. During the battle, Emil narrowly escapes with his life, but Lieutenant Cable is killed. With Lieutenant Cable dead and Emil missing, Nellie realizes how foolish she was to reject Emil based on the race of his children's mother. In the meantime, Leon and Bloody Mary approach Nellie, asking for information on Lieutenant Cable, unaware of his heroism and his death. And when they discover his tragic fate, they are devastated. With Emil missing and presumed dead, Nellie vows to take care of Jerome and Nagana. Her prejudices melt away. She gathers the children to her and she begins to sing a song. In the distance, we hear Emil's voice join in. He is alive and has returned home safely. He rejoices to find that Nellie has fallen as much in love with his children as she has with him. Amidst the hardships of war, everything has turned out all right in the South Pacific, and together they begin their new life as a family. Who can tell you why? 